This is Cohort 10. I'm Kareem Toto, and I got my partner Naquan with me. This is congestive heart failure. So that means something's wrong with your pumps. Let's check it out. Congestive heart failure. A chronic condition in which the heart doesn't pump blood as it used to or as it should be. Congestive heart failure is when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet cardiac output needs. It is simply a volume overload that leads to congestion. You can think of it as the heart breaking, malfunctioning, or wearing down. And the congestive part of the name comes from the heart not pumping enough and the blood backing up in the system. There are two components to the heart. The, the diastolic is where the heart cannot fill with blood or the, because the walls are too thick and stiff. The systolic is more stretched in thin chambers where the heart can't pump or contract. Some causes for congested heart failure are high blood pressure, heart disease, coronary artery disease, which is plaque buildup inside the coronary arteries, or atherosclerosis, heart attack, or cardiomyopathy, which is heart becoming abnormally large, and that makes it harder for the heart to pump blood throughout the body. When you come across these types of patients, ones who have congested heart failure, they'll have similar comments and remarks about their condition and how they feel. Some will say that they have no energy, they have trouble sleeping through the night, they get up to use the bathroom often. Some will say that they get tired very easily, showing heavily heavy signs of fatigue. Signs of fatigue are signs of decrease in the cardiac output. When your patient is showing signs of fatigue, this is an indicator of a decrease in the cardiac output of the patient. When your patient is complaining of weight gain but has no appetite or excessive trips to the bathroom, this can be showing signs of volume overload and fluids are beginning to back up throughout the patient's body and veins. Treatment. There is no treatment for this condition in the field for EMTs, but there is clinical treatment at the hospital, which would be surgery, a replacement of a valve, or repairing of a valve, coronary artery bypass graft, CABG. These things would improve the pumping action, reduce heart's workload, increase cardiac output, and in some severe cases, surgical implants might be required like a pacemaker a ventricular assist device VAD or even a heart transplant